season 14, a little bit more uh, dulled down, if you will. I want to see what Summoner Chington is going to choose to go with. If you when will. But I will end up going path back towards that top side. Junglers are going to hit each other here. It's like Xiao Hao is going to be on the worst end of the trade there. Ooh. Hacker getting the full advantage of it and wants to chase it. The speed from the Swirl Seed slowdown is going to be the difference maker here. And Hacker is just running you down. You can't come into Bambi's jungle as Xiao Hao will be taken down first blood. Oh, so much area around yeah. in team fight and the great peelers, both of them. I feel like Ultra Prime's composition right here is made for success. Xiao Hao gank number 3,462, go. Not going to be uh, pulled nope. off here as the 100% objective control, uh, especially in spring, but here in summer. I feel like we've seen that back to old ways early game hacker. Ooh, they haven't backed. They haven't oh backed. Oh my god, Dway against his old team might just go down here and give over a second kill. And the Enchanted Chris Lero to follow up. They're going to try to use the Winter's Bite to follow the Concussive Blows, but can't do it. Doggo able to secure a the kill. And so he is back on the map with extreme power right now. First fully completed uh -oh. item. RA want to try to get Ching Tian as he comes down, but Ultra Prime going to use some of this push in mid, maybe. They will be looking to take a tussle over this one. Very nice trade right there from Vikla as well. Yokai does not have a lot of mana to play out this fight. However, the fight might already start. TP coming TP. in. Oh, they want it. Glacial Prison going to go through. Hacker trying to get in there now, but he's in trouble. Nice engage from Dway. The Fate Seal going to miss a little bit over the top. And now you got some decent damage, but the Lilting Lullaby is not going to make too much of a difference. Shaoshu is carving him up in the back line here, too. Ching Tian now has found his ticket, and it's looking like a guillotine train from hell. A tr 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 triple kill for Ching Tian. Onto this tower. And you guys <laughs> oh, no. take a little bit of a beating. Shashu just wanted to get some poke in as much as possible, but that turret will end up falling here. So not only do they get almost full objective control. Everything has gone well. Oh, they spotted Ching Tian. He doesn't have any summoners. They could be looking to snipe him. However, the wood is going to spot them all out. They were literally just doing the, the last void grab, and they're like, nope, we want the shot on 300 gold. Could could be something that they need to look it. over to their summoners. Assume very short. Oh, <laughs> gets the nice little combo from the bush. Love to see that. Twin Convergence and doing some work there. It's getting pretty desperate from RA. I'm not going to lie to you. Bit. Oh, the TP. The TP coming oh, from Shashu. Speaking of desperation. But look, the rest of Ultra Prime are up here. They need to be a little careful. Though Shashu was looking for the deep flank. He's going for the all out, but he can't get the combo before he gets past the unbreakable. And now they're all just asleep at the wheel. And RA have been completely dusted in every attempt in this early game. Oh boy, that was so messy. The TP comes in. Vikla goes on to Yuakai thinking that Shashu is going to assist him. And Shashu pulls a beeline to Towards the tri bush because Ari spot more people. So not only does Vika lose Thrones. they looked coming into this summer split. The the addition of Niket having huge impact, but more so that combination of Hacker and Yuakai finding a lot of those big win moments. Now they are looking to continue this siege. They have eight thousand gold lead at seventeen minutes. They are looking at this tier two, but might not want to overextend for it here, trouble. I'm going to give it straight. I feel like RA should be thinking about going back to the drawing board on what went wrong. We entered this particular series and we talked a little bit about the meta and how a lot of teams will play with minimum of three carries. Three items. But, if. goodness, that, that <laughs> tunnel looks so far down the way. I mean, I, you can barely even see the little glint you of know light what, at the end of it. I'll give you a piece of your medicine. They can try. To get to three <laughs> exactly, items. there you go. Oh, they're actually gonna try to get back. Oh, 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 oh my oh. god, look away! Look away, the man's bleeding all over the place right now. 4 0 for Ching Tian as two tier two towers will fall in favor of Ultra Prime. Uh, don't look at items, don't look at gold if just don't look. He controlled mid game. Every single objective controlled and taken by Ultra Prime. Every yeah. single lane has done their job. I feel like this is exactly what we wanted to see from them looking oh, at a oh. potential Dark Horse. Oh, Shanji TP. Again, we're doing it. 
It's gonna happen. Oh, they got the double pull in from Ching Tien. Ching Tien is the target right now. They want the shutdown, but look at the lilting lullaby and all the CC chains coming in. Oh my uh -huh. God, it's a catastrophe. They're gonna all out on the side, but it's all done as everybody is wiped off the face of Summoner's Rift for RA, and that's a full ace in favor of Ultra Prime. They go right to the big purple worm. And a very cheeky smile at the end from Ching Tien as well. He's like, ha this guy's dived straight into a Darius Lilia combo. We take those boys. Again, a great try from RA. Uh, praise to Ultra Prime and especially Hacker leading it off with that early fight into Xiao Hao getting the first blood. But then the drafting as well has set them up for huge successes all along. And we're going to see that success continue Oof. to be barreled into RA. Yeah, I don't think anyone from RA gets the green card to walk up to anyone at this point. Hacker is just 1v1 in Vikla. Meanwhile, uh, over in the mid lane, whilst Ultra Prime are taking that inhibitor tower, they could choose to even end here, pick up a team fight, bullet them under tower, and just end up here. They still have the Baron minions for a long time, and uh, we might actually be looking at one of the shortest games and the shortest game of this summer rumble stage. So far, if they can end here, Vikla going in one last time. The turret getting low, and it's going down now. They got the Nexus open. They're feeling a little hesitant to finish off. Now they go with the Arctic Assault in. Vishaha misses that combo. Hits the Glacial Prison, though, but ends up paying Aww. his life for it anyways. And here's the last gasp effort from RA, and it will not work. They get one more kill. They'll double their kills in this game. But it meant nothing as Ultra Prime. And for Doggo, so he's going to have a lot of teamfight damage on his shoulders. And the teamfight looks pretty strong from Ultra Prime. But they got to be able to survive. These this is a complete different image that we had from game number one. Both of the junglers are going to be full clearing towards that bot side. However, Xiao Hao is looking mid. Oh, Yuikai dashes for, and that might have just sealed his fate. Level three Ooh. gank with the flash Arctic Assault, and now Yuikai gets locked down. First blood for Xiao Hao, and a bit of revenge from game number one. They say to permanently push, so you do have the support of your team to get into this jungle and fight for you at whatever moment possible. Very good stuff right here from RA. However, Ultra Prime will grab uh, and will continue on the 100% find. Xiao Hao will find himself towards a bot of the map, and they do have a wave to work with. No level 6 on Leona or Zeri, and they have level 6 on Misfortune. This could be huge. Yeah, that's really big. Oh. The all-out, though, at top lane. You had to know it was coming. And Hacker will be the one that picks that one. That's huge. And he is going to steal away this the time by Hacker. And on the brand, that enables your power so strongly. And we have a dragon coming up in about 45 seconds. Ooh, nice stretch from Vikla. Oh, my God. Take that lollipop and suck on it, doggo. My goodness. He's gonna go back in. I love that. Oh my god, he gets the kill in the end. What an absolute debate. Now you're getting the fade sealed in, though, and the cat's gonna die as well. Pyroclasm is doing work right now, and Doggo's here to clean things up. Double marksman, and here comes Doggo. He Wait. goes straight into his own death, though, and a double kill goes over in the end to assume. Meanwhile, Vikla makes it out alive in the end. No wow. many ultimates around in RA's disposal. Hacker does so much damage, though. It's actually ridiculous. Not only to the objective, but in that fight as well. Xiao Hao, not even going to go for it here. Second dragon secured by Ultra Prime. Hecton, which can very easily split push later on and take your towers down super quickly. However, you need these spots of that mid lane wave and try to get some vision in. Vikla will end up going into the fight there. Niket wrapping around. They do have Jing Tian, and they're TPing in Yuakai now as well. Dwayne going to flash away there. In the end, now a little bit of damage being done here as they don't get the Ultra Shock laser. The bullet time only onto one. Arctic is not going to hit, and neither will the Glacial Prison. Shao Shu locked out, but Fate Seal for Vikla. It's Big Vikla back in town, baby. As now they got the double tap. You kind not going to go down in the end. Ball plane tower again. Usually, we'll see the Rift Herald being used um, either as an engage tool. I think uh, Jue was the last person who tried. And Chin Tian, who are right now sitting on the top side of the map. All right, there we go. They're going to use the Rift Herald in a minute. It's a bit of a distraction. Karn effects there. The dragon's already going down 50-50 here, maybe. Our hacker, hacker, he actually gets it. 
Oh my is goodness, that... he's immediately going to be blown up though. Now Doggo doing some work here. Niket going to flash out, but is he going to survive? He is for a while. Fate Seal going to be pushed away, but still gets two in the end. All out coming through from Ching Tien. Doggo taking down Xiao Xu here as well. And now you and Kai able to clean house, I'd assume. These fights have been neck and neck. But Ultra Prime. Well to do the extra damage onto the tower. This is great stuff from Ultra Prime. Being able to free up that mid lane tier one as well is an extra victory. And remember what we said earlier on the more carries you're running on your team, the more threats you have. Yukai is going to take that top lane tier one as well. Ultra Prime, I they really want this tier two in bot side. So Ultra Prime is just going to lean this way. Oh, Xiaohao has spotted Doggo though in the jungle, so he's a search. Ultra Prime is controlling the map so well. They're using the pressure that Yuoka is creating towards the bots on the map. They're looking at the extra members. RA, can they find the one target that they need? This feels like a cliff's edge, maybe the Mariana Trench as all these divers got their wetsuits and RA trying to give a fight. But oh my god, something's gone wrong with the oxygen oh! and Ultra Prime. They're actually able to get two back from Assume though. RA doing some work and now they're going to collapse over on a doggo. Ultra Prime assumed the divers were out of oxygen, but they're there all day long. They'll deny that Dragon Soul and RA find a little fight left to give in this one. Ultra Prime pile up on the choke point and assume stands still Take and finally that mid lane tier one create a little bit more pockets of vision for themselves deeper into ultra in prime to try and get a flank to try and find the targets behind the tanks shashu doing the exact same thing rare atom are stepping up here i do want to move over yeah shashu gonna have to flash still oh my almost God. dies to you, Akai, who is also getting those items. But now it's a 4v5. They want to try to go for this, but the angle is a little bit weird. Ching Tian overextending a bit, but Q3 knocks him back. Joy getting low. Joy going down. Bullet time going wide. Now fire plasma across the back, and you're burning to that Rallies. Slowing you down. Gonna have to burn the flash there. Xiao Shu is booking it here, but all of his teammates are already dying. But double kill goes over to Yuakai in the end. He does burn his flash. Vikla try to put up his best defense, but now Ultra Prime, they're turning around to try to recircle onto this mid lane. Oh, Dogo! Dogo dashes in forward just to clear out the wave. They don't give anything over to Ultra Prime and. Sorry, to RA and Ultra Prime. With a great fight right here, they're gonna start the Baron. Xiao Hao is around as a flash. Ching Tian just gonna body block his way out, all out to get him over the wall. The Baron is already going down. RA, they're trying to make a play. Double knock up there. Big, oh. big seal from Vikla. Is it gonna be enough though? RA, they have the health bars to try to take this fight. Hacker is the one that needs to be the damage dealer. Maybe that front line. Oh, those are some greedy backs Earlier. earlier. <laughs> oh, and nice. Ultra Prime now with a Baron buff for another minute and 40 seconds. Looking tier twos across the board here they already got the one on bot side we'll have doggo there in the side lane right now yeah doggo's trying to take some pressure off of that mid lane put it towards that ball but r8 have pretty good wave play with the misfortune right there oh big love on the cat Vickla's bloodthirst are down as well the flash out as well now they already got in the cat he is down but you got to be careful that pyroclasm doing some work on the back line Ultra Prime lose a member though, and that's a bit rough because that is your front line and your primary main engage. And mainly your Baron buff push, right? This is exactly what you needed to use to take that mid lane tier two. This would have created chaos into our ace jungle. However, Ultra Prime is staying around, the TP being pulled. All right, this is a bit of a ballsy fight by Ultra Prime if they want to take it because all five members are going to be here by RA. There is the Dragon Soul to fight for here, which RA will deny once again. So they've done a really good job of timing themselves out of this bot side to stop Ultra Prime from picking up the soul they early got, at least the soul point of. Yeah, off of the back of Vikla, diving in, getting right now, the... But especially denying the soul from Ultra Prime is going to be huge. Another tower that's going to go down, more gold over to the side of RA and... I, I have commended RA over and over again for the way they dip in and out of fights and they've been doing this this entire time right here. Vikla finding the poke and then getting that all in from the set of RA. However, Ultra Prime, they do have some Baron buff left in them. It's gonna, if you're Renekton, and if you're Sejuani, each huge. And both Shahu, uh, Shashu and Shaha have been trying to find this. However, right now, it's a straight up five versus five for the Baron. 
Watch Vicola, watch Assume. Bullet time slash Fate Seal, the biggest combos for RA. If they can get those, it is a guaranteed win. They will force the hand of Ultra Prime. You gotta be careful in these situations though, because Ultra Prime have a lot of strength from range. They can throw up Pyroclasm into that pit and it'll get so scary. There they Shashu? go, they're gonna do it. They got so much damage. Look at the flank though. Xiaoshu looking for you. Akai doesn't get it. The Baron has gone down to Ultra Prime and Assume has fallen as well. The rest of RA, they had best lane plans but you know what they say about that an ultra prime make it good almost seven thousand damage by doggo and he the veteran here has made the difference we wanted to see him pop off and when ultra prime needed him he showed up ultra prime needed this a six game lose streak ends with a 2-0 over ra they will make good on those early falterings here in the Rumble stage, and they will make good on how good they looked early on in the placement stage. A 2-0 victory to rectify their...